Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how to harvest your crookneck yellow summer squash and why you guys should harvest them on time and what do you do after you harvest and, you know, every details and tips about this, guys. So first of all, guys, this is a five-gallon container and it's a yellow squash. It's a crookneck squash. This variety, they don't grow big, guys. You could harvest them when they're four to six inches. Good to harvest on time because the longer you leave these squash on the, the more they lose their taste and sometimes they get softer so basically the plant is using and wasting energy on the one that's already ripe to ripen it more and you know you're losing the taste but then instead of using the energy to the small one it's still stuck at the big one using more there so by you harvesting your squash from the bottom or whichever one is ready it plants use more energy towards the small one so they could grow faster and you guys could keep harvesting and the plant just keep producing producing and you want to make sure guys you don't want to get too much like wrinkled dried up and then soft at the bottom if it gets too soft at the bottom too it's no good it's gonna rot so basically guys I come close up to the plant you guys can see I like to come close up I'll cut it off like that first and then let you know what you could do you guys could come and cut it off closer here so it kind of look like something like that so these guys don't get really big and you can see even like this I left it all along you see how it's getting right there so it's always good to harvest them guys and every time you harvest as I said um your plant will eventually put more energy towards the smaller ones and you guys gotta watch out they do have spikes in there so this is why I cut them out I cut those guys out all the time and another thing when you finish harvest guys it's always good to boost your uh, your plant up um, give it a nice boost so it use more energy if you guys look close right here this one is already dried up and um, it didn't look like it's pollinated it's dry I'll show you guys I'm gonna pick it because if you could see right there it's all dry and doesn't look like it's gonna make it these one right here are like smooth and guys even even if your flower falls off or dries and die it doesn't matter the fruit once it pollinate it will still grow so I'm gonna pick all of the the one that at least you know at least four inches and up I'll just pick them out as I'm here we'll give the little guys on top the chance to grow guys they're pretty small and uh, they're really delicious and tasty though right, guys after harvesting you could see my plant there's there's a bunch over here in the top I'm gonna have to try to bring that over put a big tie try to guide it back over uh, it's growing all you know crazy so I'm gonna show you I'm keep turning it to show you guys so right here we do have a bunch of leaves on the top so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna prune this one out we don't need that be careful guys they have spikes and then you could see this one right here too Ooh, sorry about that Go ahead and cut that out so basically we're pruning it out uh, we're gonna try to like focus more of the energy to come upwards and even like even like from the down low you could see other ones are coming here guys but I'm gonna cut these out because you can look you could look right here they're not even making it at the bottom so the plant the plant will just produce growth new growth spot all over so we're gonna come right here get rid of that guy too I know you guys are probably like this guy is just chopping his plant up so basically the plant is push it will push more energy now and you guys could see I have a bunch of leaf up here so I'm not gonna prune more leaves you guys do not you know you want to leave at least about six to eight leaves on your plant you do not want to cut out all your leaves guys and you can see these leaves right here we got a new one coming up from the top all the new one so I'm telling you within a couple days it's just gonna push right through so from the bottom you could see like this male flower already used so I'll cut it out okay so basically I'm gonna take it all the dry grass you could leave it on as mulch but um, the reason why I'm taking out the dry grass because I just literally cut the grass and I have fresh grass clipping and adding and what I'm gonna do here guys you could see after watering your soil will go down and um, I, my compost at the bottom will decompose too and there we going down so you're gonna have less less soil um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do so basically guys you grab some soil 
and you kind of like sprinkle all over get all most of the grass out if you, you can because you don't want to have too much grass in there make sure look so what I'm gonna do is put all the soil there so base sorry about the camera guys so basically this soil this is rich fresh soil and um, it's gonna give it a fresh boost more nutrition for this plant and then I keep it full to the top cover the root you don't want to make sure your plant root never shows guys you want to save your plant and the roots so definitely this will give it a big boost and your plant will be able to have more fresh energy and as I could start again to produce fresh again I will sprinkle some fresh grass clipping lightly you don't want to put it too thick because you don't want you want it you want to make sure you get air so you just put it kind of lightly you could see that so the fresh grass clipping guys will give it more boost of nitrogen potassium and some other stuff there so that's a light one and you can see within a couple days the grass will dry out and all the nutrition all the nutrients will go down to the bottom so you kind of want to like tap it in and as I said do not put too much guys just put a lightly you know every time you cut your grass you always boost it up so that right there and then I'm gonna add some water All right so think about it guys so we just add a you know a little small layer of fresh soil and then we add some fresh grass clipping if you guys have compost you could always get in there and add compost or whatever you guys add to uh, coffee ground is good too if you sprinkle some coffee ground but if you already add in the grass you don't need coffee ground this is fine and now most of our energy when we water this all the energy and nutrition will be coming up in this plant within the next couple days it's gonna give a big boost to this plant guys so guys there you go um, that's how I basically boost some of my plant if you have bigger plants guys I would suggest you put a lot more than what I put put some compost inside or fertilizer when you harvest it's always good guys you got to think about it when you harvest you know your plant use a lot of energy and nutrition from that soil no matter if it's in the ground no matter if it's in the container guys your plant still using that energy and remember what i keep telling you guys even if you plant in the ground you have more nutrition in this in the ground than a container because the roots in the ground get to spread wide out but they only spread and reach up to a certain distance so whatever that whatever that distance is that's only where they get that nutrition from so beyond that distance they're not getting it so that's why it's that's so that's why it's very important to always refresh your soil and refresh your plant after you harvest so your plant will basically just boost the rest of the veggies to come all right guys so thank you guys for watching green tea garden and as I always said guys if you guys have any question uh, always comment below and if you guys have any awesome tips that you want to share about this plant to my audience and myself we really appreciate and we always love you guys giving your awesome tips guys and uh, to anyone who's new guys welcome to Green Tea Garden I'm in Long Island New York zone 7a uh, home garden guys we're all about garden videos learning and growing a better garden together so please subscribe click the bell icon it's 100% free and every time I upload a video you guys will get it right away